Newton's first law of motion gives rise to the idea of inertia. We have seen that a body continues to be in the state of rest or of uniform motion unless some external force is applied to it. Galileo called this property of objects inertia. The word inertia, which means unchanging, has been derived from the Latin word inert. Therefore, inertia of a body may be defined as the property of a body to resist any change in its state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line. Sometimes inertia is useful. For example, when you sit on a chair, the inertia of the chair keeps it in its place. In certain cases, inertia is not desirable. For example, a large force is needed to push a heavy rock. From our common experience, we know that it is easier to move a small and light object than a large and heavy one. Thus, a large or heavy body shows a greater resistance to change its state of rest or of uniform motion than smaller or lighter bodies. Thus, a heavier body has more inertia than a lighter body. Therefore, we can say that the larger the mass, the larger is the inertia. And the smaller the mass, the smaller is the inertia. In other words, we can say that the mass of a body is a measure of its inertia. Now, there are three types of inertia. Inertia of rest, inertia of motion, and inertia of direction. A body at rest continues to remain at rest unless an external force is applied on it. This tendency of a body is called as inertia of rest. Some examples of inertia of rest. Example 1. Here, both the card and the coin are at rest. When the card is flicked, it comes into motion. The coin, however, remains at rest due to the inertia of rest. As a result, only the card flies away and the coin falls into the glass tumbler. Example 2 When a passenger is sitting in a stationary train, both the train and the passenger are at rest. When the train starts moving suddenly, the lower part of the passenger's body starts moving forward with the train. The upper part of the body tends to remain in the position of rest due to its inertia of rest. As a result, the passenger leans backward. Similarly, a rider on horseback falls backwards when the horse suddenly starts running. Example 4 Here, both the carpet and the dust are at rest. When the carpet is shaken or beaten with a stick, the carpet is set into motion. Due to inertia of rest, the dust particles tend to remain at rest. As a result, the dust particles fall off. Example 5 when a bullet strikes the glass pane, the part of the glass pane which comes in contact with the bullet immediately shares the large velocity of the bullet and flies away making a hole. The remaining part of the glass due to inertia of rest remains at rest and is not smashed. Example 6 when branch of a tree is shaken, it sets into motion. The leaves, however, tend to remain in the state of rest. As a result, 
the leaves may get detached from the branch now the tendency of a moving body to continue the same state of motion is called inertia of motion some examples of inertia of motion example 1 passengers sitting in a running bus share the motion of the bus this means the passengers in a running bus are also moving with the same speed in the same direction when the running bus stops suddenly the lower part of the passenger's body comes to rest while the upper body portion continues to remain in motion as a result the passengers are thrown in the forward direction when a running bus stops suddenly example 2 when an athlete comes running from a distance he gains speed this leads to an increased inertia of motion due to this increased inertia of motion the athlete is able to jump longer example 3 when a moving oil tanker suddenly stops the oil inside the tanker continues to be in the state of motion due to the inertia of motion as a result it splashes in the forward direction therefore to prevent any overflow of the oil due to sudden stop of the truck some space is left at the top while filling the tanker example 4 the luggage placed on the roof of a vehicle is not fixed to the vehicle when a moving vehicle stops suddenly the luggage continues to remain in the state of motion due to the inertia of motion as a result the luggage might slide towards the front side of the vehicle and fall to prevent fall of the luggage from the roof of the vehicle it is advised to tie the luggage with a rope the property by virtue of which a body is unable to change its direction of motion unless an external force acts on it is called inertia of direction examples of inertia of direction example 1 march sticking to the tires of a moving vehicle flies off tangentially when the march flying off on the person or vehicle in front or behind mud guards are provided these mud guards provide the needed external force for the change in direction example 2 when a bus runs along a straight line path all the passengers traveling in the bus also move with same speed in the same direction when the bus takes a sharp turn the upper body portion of the passengers still continues to move in the original path due to inertia of direction while the lower portion tends to turn with the bus as a result passengers tend to lean sideways 